Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fuck It! And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. And today guys, I want to tell you there is no good time to start an exercise program or a diet or a lifestyle change and what have you. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little story and... Um, it's very relevant. This just happened um, literally hours ago, okay? So, little background, right? I had this client start with me about two years ago, okay? He came in, and um, he had worked with trainers before, and he had gotten very fit and was like a machine, right? He got in great shape. You know, he's a business owner. He's very busy, um, he's very passionate. He's very much um, a family man as far as, you know, um, taking care of his parents, his friends, his family, this and that. But he's a single guy and he's just very busy, but he takes great pride in everything he does in his life. Now, he had fallen off the wagon for several months and had gained some weight back. And he's like, you know what? I just want to like get back on my program. I remember feeling really good. I remember being able to bench press this and squat that. I didn't have aches and pains and I really am um, like fired up. Like basically I didn't have to do anything to motivate this guy or to sell him on the benefits of personal training. So I'm like, great, no problem, right? So he wants to do like three one hour sessions a week, maybe four. And I'm like, fantastic, right? I love this. This guy's very motivated. He's been there before. It's not like um, starting up fresh with somebody who's never touched weights or doesn't understand exercise and doesn't um, isn't going to be comfortable with that initial soreness and understand, you know, the time it takes to make some lasting change. So we go through. We have two, three sessions, and he starts canceling, and you know, makes excuses and this and that. And fast forward, it's been two years now. And over those two years, he's probably reached out to me three, four times. And I'm just about ready to get started. You know, I've got this going on in my life, that going on. So this past summer, I was outside going for a jog. It was a really hot day. I was just, you know, shirt off, just boom, doing my thing, listening to some music, getting a good run. So I'm finishing up my run. And all of a sudden, this car goes by me, beeps the horn, and it was him. He rolls down the window and he's like, hey, brother, blah, blah, blah. How you doing? I was like, hey, good to see you. And he's like, okay, I'm ready to get started. Um, let's start after the 4th of July weekend. I'm like, great, man. So I still have your contact info. Um, I'll shoot you a message. And after 4th of July weekend, you know, we'll get it going. So week goes by after 4th of July. You know, I had reached out to him. Nothing. Fast forward, we're in September right now, and he's like, you know what? I'm ready to get started. Um, you know, I had um, my I had some issues with family having health issues, so I've been running back and forth to the hospital and trying to take care of things, this and that. I'm like, okay, you know, I understand that. And then yesterday, um, I was doing a bit of paperwork, and it just hit me, and I'm like, you know what? Just reached out to him. I said, you know, there's never a good time to start to restart. There's never going to be a good time. You know, over these two years, um, when you've had good intentions to restart, you know, there's been something that's come up. I said, life has those roadblocks, those detours, you know, um, you know, those traffic jams, those reroutes. It's just the way it is. And I said, you know, at some point, if you really, really want to do this, then we just need to start. Like, you can start today. And, you know, he's like, well, it's Sunday. I'm like, yeah, but you know what? You can go out and go for a walk. You can do some push-ups, sit-ups, you know, planks, lunges, whatever. You know how to exercise. You know, you've paid trainers over the years. You know exactly what to do. And um, I said, so you have to figure out for yourself. I said, I'll be your biggest cheerleader. I said, but you're the one that actually has to pull the trigger and get it started. And he didn't say anything. So a little time goes by and he shoots me a text. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I pissed him off, right? And he goes, you know what? I thought about what you said. You're absolutely right. There's never going to be a good time. And I was like, yeah, it's been two years. You know, I understand, though, 
I'm not trying to um, dismiss your legitimate concerns and the struggles and this and that. I said, but I said, I think you need a cheerleader, somebody who's going to like give it to you straight, push you and, you know, help you to eliminate the excuses and find time to just get it done. So I motivated him. He wrapped his head around it and he understands that, like I said, you know, he's a good guy. He, you know, is very loyal to his friends and family. He's successful in his business. And it's like, you've got the, the morals, the work ethic, all of the tools you need to get it done and get it started. So let's just get it started. So um, I usually don't like, uh, you know, lead with a whip or the iron fist, you know, I usually um, am very supportive and understanding and I'll listen and I don't like to um, provoke or push buttons. But, you know, sometimes a little honesty works. And in this case, it worked wonders. And so we're getting it started. So just thought you guys would appreciate that story. I want to encourage you to get off your rusted dusty. Get it done, right? Step it up. Do it. It's not going to be perfect. Progress, not perfection, baby. All right? Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys again soon. I'll give you a little update if you want to know about the uh, mystery client and how he's doing. All right? Take care, guys.